<laughs> How do we manage to moor a 40 foot boat when we can't moor a dinghy on a, on a boat? <laughs> Just passing Leela Kalholman now. This is a anchorage that we went into before, but uh, now we can't get in anymore because the entrance is 1.8 meters deep and we are uh, 2.1 meters in draft, something like that. But this is super nice sailing conditions. Just got the jib out again because there's no rush to be anywhere or anything like that. So. Uh, Sorry about the audio, my other camera has just run out of SD space, so I need to unload that. that. Super nice. Sunny days and nice sailing. And yeah, I haven't been bothered to get out the mainsail, to be honest, because, I mean, it's quite nice chilled out, being flat as well, and sailing slow also, so, yeah. I just want to be your morning light And the sun come up with you by my side Welcome to Finham. Um, again, I forgot to press record on the camera so I didn't get any footage of our arrival. We'll promise to do that. Uh, we just tightened up the ropes. Yeah, it's okay. Nice little place next to a couple of other yachts and yeah well this is the opposite side of Finham actually because uh, we're looking for a bit of shelter from a westerly wind uh, so yeah. it's good sail. This calls for a glass of wine. Yeah? Yes. Well, I've got to get the dinghy out first. Yeah. I've got to test the dinghy that we got. Dinghy wine. Dinghy wine. Yeah. You know, I'd, I'd much Difficult. rather have a glass of wine, to be honest, but it's the perfect day to <laughs> yes, test the right. dinghy. Wine, we can, wine, wine. <laughs> we, can, we can have a glass of wine on the dinghy, I don't know. We can have a little tour around this place, we'll see. What are you doing? Pumping the dinghy up. It's working well. Joys of pumping dinghies up. <laughs> You're gonna go yeah. into the pit. Where are we? Where are we going? I don't know where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, well, your knees are in the way. There we go, I'm out of the way now. Oh my god, this is a small dinghy we got. <laughs> Where do you want to go? I don't know. Wow, well, you need to give this some oil. No. <laughs> Look funny with the... <laughs> what? You got the sunglasses thing. Where, where are you going, honey? I don't know. Where going to a bay now. Where do you want to go? I don't know. It's very awkward. Teaching Tanya how to row. I can row. I can row. It's very awkward because I'm popping into you. I'm popping into my own neck. We've got a pretty small dinghy on the other end. Watch out with the boats. Where are you going? You're going all the way around. I'm doing a 360. <laughs> You really had to think there, didn't you? I could see that now forward. Yeah, get the engine on in a minute, it's a bit easier. No, this is fun. Hmm? Because normally in a rowing boat, yeah, you, can turn them you, you turn them yeah. so they are 
you know what I mean? So they yeah, yeah. But now they're just fixed, so you don't lose them. But that's a bit strange. No, it's the way these... Where do you want to go? Where are we going? Now, when it comes to barbecuing, this little thing here is legendary. Fill this thing up with coals, put two, I don't know, you only need one fire lighter really. One fire lighter or two, I just get it going quicker like this. Get your lighter. Light your fire lighters. Just put this on top, and then in about I don't know half an hour or something like that, even less, maybe 20 minutes. That'll be good to cook. You can see it's just going now. Once that's done, we can pour the coals out, and then we're ready to go. But yeah, it's going nicely now. And I'm dying of smoke inhalation. <clears throat> Look at that, you can tell it's just perfect when the top ones are just starting to get white on one side and black on the other. If you leave it a few more minutes then it's, it's going to be great. If you want to speed the process up, you can do, just blow on it, you know, just look at it. And that will get them flaming uh, really strong, actually. And this is just for the people that, you know, need a little help with barbecuing. Not everybody knows how to do it. You know, you shouldn't feel like you should know how to barbecue or how to do it really easily like I've, I've seen many different methods um, some people use lighter fluid as well but yeah this is the method I'd like to use so now we uh, we pour it all in For best results, I'd say just leave it a little while and then it cools down so you, do, you don't just burn the skin of your sausages or uh, chicken in this case or something like that. It, it just calms down a little bit so that you can, you can cook nicely. Especially with chicken, you need that cooked all the way through. Swishing it around as such. Let me put the grill on. Always put it on the right way around. Let that heat up a little bit. I'm just going to let these coals settle now for a little while. Yeah. As you can see, they're fairly lively, so yeah. Let them settle down and then we can cook the chicken uh, over a long period of time. Cool. This is amazing though. This is really. Really beautiful. <laughs> we touched the bottom a little early on. Uh, there's a, a bit of a rock to the starboard side of the boat, so we just touched it a couple of times, but um, we just moved the uh, the rear anchor to the from the port side to the starboard side, so it pulls the boat a little bit to port. Um, yeah, and that stopped the bumping, so no damage done, I don't think. It's just if you bump a rock a little bit, it's not it's not going to be any any problem. It's going to happen at some point. So, yeah, all set to barbecue now. is the sweet sound and smell of barbecue going on right now. 
bit of a cooking. Perfect chickenness coming up. You know? I just put the lid on actually to uh, give it a bit more heat on the top as well. But it's looking great at the moment. Pull it! <laughs> Come on, give it some. You need speed. There you go, almost. To be honest, you might not need that. Just take it down and try that again. No, it doesn't even want to try now. Go on. Yeah, just about. Just about. No. <laughs> Come on, honey. You need a technique. What is the there you go, you did it fast enough. No, 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 no. Wait till it... Bring it down to neutral. Yeah, or bring it down to slow idle and then put it in gear. Neutral? Yeah, it's in neutral now, but yeah, bring it down to slow idle, I meant. Okay. Yeah, so it's just ticking over and then put it in gear. Otherwise you'll snap the gears or you, you hurt the transmission a bit. So back to start, from restart back yeah. to start. Yeah, just in this posi this idle position. Yeah. So otherwise, if you do that and then put it in gear, it's just going to bang the gears in. It's okay. not good for it. So this is like putting it back on the clutch, if it was a clutch cup. Mm, there's no clutch involved, but it's like taking your foot off the accelerator. Okay, can I put it in forward now? Yeah. Is this your first time driving a dinghy? Yes. <laughs> yeah? I really don't have to turn a lot on the... But it goes fast. Maybe yeah, doing like one knot, two knots. No, but I mean you don't have to turn, turn the throttle a lot before it goes fast. Yeah, yeah. Six horsepower engine. You got you got a bit of power there. Oh, and you have to really steer. Yes, you usually have to steer a boat. Yes, but you have to <laughs> you have to put a lot into it before it does something. Go on then, full throttle. Let's see if we can get it on the plane yeah. again. Go on. Go on. Full throttle. Go on. Twist it all the way. And she wants to go. a bit of a service or something. <laughs> so a new little dinghy. Boat's over there. Going over here to sit in the sun. Oh, look at that. Beautiful sun. Yeah, we'll get told off for using the buoy buoy in Sweden. <laughs> That's what we did before in the little boat. We got told off for having lunch on a buoy. A boy, boy, buoy is American. How do we manage to moor? <laughs> How do we? <laughs> How do we manage to moor a forty-foot boat when we can't moor a dinghy on a? On a boat? <laughs> Lassoing is not a skill of mine, apparently. <laughs>
Come on, honey. No. Oh my god. Okay. This is really not doing well. Come on, honey. Come on. Oh, how? 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 How, is, <laughs> how can I be so bad at this? This is really funny. Okay. Come on. All right. This is going to be the one. You ready? No. Go on. <laughs> it's not like it is. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Gonna sit here in the sun, have some wine. Yes. Super beautiful time. Well, I'll just blame the wine, that's why I can't. You haven't drank anything yet. I am. We, we had one glass. Well. Lightweight. You didn't have much because you didn't eat. Or yeah, but I haven't drink. failed at Lasu in a boy like five times. Well, you didn't drink when we were eating. <laughs> you happy wife. Yes. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. So nice. This is a nice place. Yeah. Mosquito land is in Sweden right now. It's not too bad with mosquitoes up here in Sweden, but... Um, it is. Uh, in in Stockholm, it's not that bad. Like if you, if you go no, to but out here, yeah, yeah it's you, know, you have to be a little bit concerned about it. If you put mosquito spray on or some DEET, especially, they'll they'll stay away. Which is illegal. It's not a big problem. DEET's Come. not illegal. It's just illegal in certain quantities. Yeah, but you can't get the good DEET here. No. But um, yeah. Sometimes it gets really, really bad in the summers. It gets a bit extreme. Uh, quite a lot of mosquitoes. But it's not too bad at the moment, at least. Mm -hmm.